Hey guys, um, so I did this completely out of order and I just tried on a bunch of clothes and now I look crazy and tired and uh, we're gonna talk about thrifting. So when I moved here from New York, I had to basically get rid of like all of my stuff. I just came with a couple suitcases of whatever I could fit and that was kind of it. So last year I did a lot of thrifting and I was trying to be really conscious of like where I'm going shopping and kind of like trying to put more money back into local businesses. So thrifting has been kind of like my way to try and do that as best as I can. So I want to just kind of share with you some of my favorite spots and some of the things I got so far. So there's kind of two main shopping streets in Vienna. I would say there's like the first district by Stefan's Plots, which is kind of like all this big shopping area. And they have like the really expensive area, which is like all the high end brand stuff. But it is a beautiful area to just walk around and do some window shopping since it has this like mix of like old and new architecture. And also if you wander away from the busier streets, you'll kind of be able to discover little alleyways and cafes and really get a feel for like how old this part of Vienna is. And then there is also Maria Hilfestrasse, which is an amazing place to go shopping in the summer because it has limited cars and amazing tree covered walkways. So it really stays nice and cool. But if you go off to the side of Maria Hilfestrasse and Neubegasse, there's like all these little off streets that have like a lot of nice stores that are either like owned by someone more local or they're like thrifted kind of stores. So that would be where I suggest to start and you can kind of find some cool stores in between as well. So in the summertime, there's also a lot of pop-up uh, flea markets that you kind of just like happen to stumble upon if you're walking around the city. And so one thing I got from there last summer was these amazing boots. And these are like kind of more like a traditional Austrian shoe and they're really well made and they look like hardly ever worn. I picked them up for only 20 euros. They have these like awesome laces that kind of go all the way up and it's like a nice leather and a suede and there's even some embroidery and stuff on here. So I just thought these were so well made and really, really pretty. So they kind of became my unique uh, winter boot. Um, and then also there's a ton of like pop-up markets for local designers and artists. And I got this amazing ring from one of them. It is <laughs> a little man in a spa. He's kind of like in a pool. And I just found it so funny and I love the design of it. It's like this huge chunky ring. And he's just in the pool having a good time. <laughs> this ring just made me really happy and it was nice to be kind of like supporting like a local artist. And yeah, it felt very summery and I just love this ring. So very happy with my little weird spa man ring. <laughs> so my number one store in Vienna for thrifting is Humana. They have quite a few stores all over the city and they're really easy to find. And I find they have really good prices and really nice quality clothing. And they also have like a lot of sales like every day. So it's kind of like a fun store to revisit. And since they have so many, you can kind of go to different districts and kind of see what type of clothing they have. I've had a lot of luck finding stuff from them. And usually the price point is really good. Around 20 euros and maybe a little less. Um, I've definitely gotten some really good deals from those places. Carla is another one that I would suggest, especially if you're just moving here or you're looking for a unique house item. They do tend to carry more like secondhand home goods, but I did find my first Jindal dress at a Carla, which I love, so they're definitely still worth checking out. If you want to know more about the Jindals that I have, which is a traditional Austrian dress, I'll link that video up in the corner. So I just came from outside, which is very cold and incredibly windy. So they had these jackets that were on sale for only 10 euros and I was actually searching for a jacket like this and I was just like, well, now I know I have to find one. Also know here that in Austria, uh, if you don't bring your own bag, you do have to buy one and I think this one only cost me 20 cents, but just know that also in all grocery stores and stuff like that, you do have to bring your own bag. Let me show you the jacket that I got. This was only 10 euros and I'm just like, so happy I found something like this. It goes all the way to the floor. So this one I was so happy finding and it's only 10 euros. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. <laughs> the second jacket it was in the traditional section and it was made in Austria and I thought that's kind of nice in the Salzburg area. I think it says on the tag, but it has this magical hood that I also was like really thinking that I could use this kind of jacket today. It was so windy outside. It has these like really big buttons and it's all wool inside. 
it's going to keep me very warm it is definitely this is like a size large so it's definitely like really big but I mean I have a tendency to wear like giant sweaters so I figured it can't hurt to have something a little bigger that you can really pile on the layers underneath but here's the best part <laughs> I thought this would be so good if it's like really windy and snowy and stuff and now I feel properly ready for Vienna's freezing cold. And I think this could be a very good jacket for going on some walks in the park during very snowy season. So yeah, that's just a quick look at thrifting and shopping local in Vienna. What I really like about this city is that it's super easy to walk around and you can kind of just like explore and find these markets or little side streets that have a lot of local shops. So that's what I definitely suggest to do if you do come here. But if you can't come here and you guys wanna let me know some cool like thrifting challenges to do, let me know and maybe I can take you along with me and we can go try to find some cool outfits together. So that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.